joined now by Christina Bellantoni, senior reporter for TalkingPointsMemo.com. They have been all over this story. Good evening, Christina. Good evening. Welcome back, Keith. Thank you kindly. Uh, the, the Disclose Act, which would have forced corporations to be named in political ads that they front, that they pay for, that their money gets laundered into, it failed last week. So how did we find out, if it failed, that uh, Target, to a lesser degree, Best Buy, uh, were giving to this MN Forward Group? Well, in part because Minnesota has pretty strict disclosure laws. They're the sort of transparency that Democrats are seeking to put in place with a Disclose Act that uh, the Republicans filibustered last week. The Target CEO came back and called his support of the LGBT community unwavering. Uh, what are we going to believe? Uh, his, uh, his, our lying eyes or his company's $150,000 contribution? Well, the, the target line on this is that they support pro-business candidates. And this organization, Minnesota Forward, it got $100,000 in cash from Target, $50,000 in in-kind services, you know, other things besides cash. It's not even the biggest contribution to this organization, which is going to promote candidates that will give businesses tax cuts and that will be pro-business. So that's sort of the, the line they're saying is that they're getting dragged down into a social issue because the candidate that they're backing with this very friendly ad that, as you mentioned, doesn't mention any social issues is anti-gay marriage. Is uh, the backlash here that we're seeing, is this uh, meaningful? Is it having an impact at all on Target or is it just, you know, uh, democracy's last dying gasp? This is a really interesting story. I spent the day with a lot of sources on the ground in Minnesota, and they told me, both sides, Republicans and Democrats, that you've seen a lot of businesses pretty spooked because the progressives and the Democratic, the Democrats in Minnesota are using this as an example of sort of Citizens United gone wrong. They're trying to paint it as a corporation trying to buy the election. And so this is a target, an organization that has very strong national brand name. It's you know one of the best known companies in the country, but especially in Minnesota where it's based, it's, it's spooked organizations to maybe back off and not necessarily donate to Minnesota Ford. But I will point out that I learned today that this organization is going to be backing six state lawmakers in the coming week. Mm -hmm. Three of them will be Democrats. Hmm. Um, I, I mentioned that uh, obviously the Disclose Act failed. Is there anything other than state by state uh, uh, acts like what they have in Minnesota, anything coming down the pike that's going to temper corporate spending on elections and avoid the rollerball scenario? Well, this, this bill is still alive in Congress. Um, essentially, Republicans prevented it from moving forward in the Senate. It already passed the House, so there are actually watchdog organizations that are pressuring Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to bring this up for a vote again and again and again until it happens. But it is an election year, and as we all know, uh, these things don't necessarily pass in an election year. Christina Bellantoni of Talking Points Memo, great thanks for your insight on this one. Thanks, Keith.